Hannes Alvin viewed these as a separate cosmological entity, much like a plasmoid. It is a structure consisting of two parallel layers of opposite electrical charge. Between the two layers there is a strong electric field, but a weaker but larger one on the outside. Any random motion which pushes a particle between the layers will feel a huge acceleration. Some double layers are capable of accelerating electrons to relativistic velocities. The production of a double layer requires a region with an excess of either positive or negative charge. In other words, it can't be balanced. The instantaneous voltage drop across a current carrying double layer is proportional to the current and is similar to that across a resistive load. And this means that the double layers are able to dissipate vast amounts of energy, but this energy must be supplied via the incoming current. Double layers can be stable or unstable. Unstable ones are described as noisy due to the oscillations they produce across a wide frequency band, and some can even explode releasing vast amounts of energy very quickly. Double layers are relatively thin and will spread across the entire surface of a laboratory container. Where adjacent plasmas have different properties, double layers will form and tend to cellularize the different regions. So double layers are important for two things. One is for dissipating energy and creating these vast streams of ions and electrons, and secondly for separating regions of space.